Are you struggling with keeping your tools organized? Because I know I am. <laughs> Whether you have five tools or 50 tools, finding a good storage method to keep your tools safe and out of the way can be a big challenge. This is why I purchased the DeWalt Tough System 2.0 Mobile Storage Organization System because I wanted to see if this will work for regular DIYers like you and me. Let's give this a shot. The biggest challenge that I have with my tool storage is the fact that I keep them in the basement, but that I'm always using them in the driveway, in the garage, out in the backyard. Carting those tools around is a pain in the butt. This is why I wanted to try out this system. I purchased the DeWalt Tough System 2 Rolling Tower. This includes a toolbox, an extra large toolbox, and a rolling toolbox that all stack on top of each other as one unit that you can move around wherever you want to. The stacking is kind of nice because you don't have to put them in a certain order. You can mix and match in whatever order works for you. From a size perspective, the small toolbox is 19 by 11 and a half and it's four and a half inches deep. Now the extra large toolbox is 19 by 12 and a half inches and it's 10 inches deep a little bit deeper and you can get more trays inside of it as a result. And the rolling toolbox is 19 by 13 and three quarters and it is a full 13 and a half inches deep. And I fit three full size trays inside of here without a problem. The stacking function works because of these side latches with a one touch technology. Push your finger against the bottom of the latch to release the box that's on top and pull up. It detaches that easily. In order to put it back down, you just simply put it straight down on top and it locks back in place. This is very simplistic and I have found so far that even when it's fully loaded, they hold a lot of weight. Each box has these rubber gaskets or seals that go all the way around the lid. This is very nice because these boxes are IP65 rated, which basically means they are dust and water resistant. Each box has two metal latches on it. Now the actual front of it is plastic, but the latching mechanism itself is metal. These do create a very tight seal for the lid against the housing of the box. From a security perspective, each one of these toolboxes has a metal reinforced ring in the front. If you need to lock your tools in these boxes for whatever reason, you have that option available. The small toolbox came with these organizers, nice plastic organizers that you can put whatever you want in here. The nicer part are the trays that DeWalt made for these toolboxes. There are two different sizes of the tray. There's the small tray, which is literally just thinner than the large tray. The large tray is much deeper as you can see side by side but they are the exact same dimension. You can stack them right on top of each other and they fit snugly. Each tray also has plastic handles on either end. So as you lift tools out of each of the toolboxes, you can do so with the handles. When you put the trays down inside the toolboxes, by themselves, they do wiggle around a little bit, something that I'm not a big fan of. If I'm gonna put my tools in these toolboxes, I'd like them to be as secure as possible. Having these trays move around is not ideal, but it's also not a huge travel distance inside the box. Now you can stick these trays all the way down inside the boxes and stack them on top of one another, or the trays also have little latches on the side that you can flip up. And when you flip these up, it stops the travel distance inside the box so that the tray with the tabs out stays at the very top of the box. I'm finding that this is nice when I try to put my circular saw in the large rolling box. I can still put that small tray up in the top and it doesn't touch the top of my saw. But you don't want your tools sloshing around inside of those trays, do you? This is why DeWalt made foam for each of these trays. There is a thin version for the smaller tray and there is a thick version for the larger tray. Now the size straight out of the package fits perfectly in the bottom of the toolbox. There's no cutting required for that to happen. If you wanted to put a tool in the very bottom like I do with my circular saw, you can just cut your outline out of your tool, put it in and then push it all the way down in the bottom of the toolbox, no tray required. However, if you want to put the foam inside the tray, 
There's an outline right on the outside of every single one of these foam pieces. All you have to do is cut the excess away from the outside of the outline, and that will fit perfectly inside of the trays. What I found easiest in trying to organize the tools inside of the foam so I get a good fit and get as many tools in there as I can, I lay the foam down on the ground and position my tools near each other so that A, they don't touch, and B, they don't touch the sides. Then, I just took my razor knife and traced all the way around the tool. I ripped out that first layer to make sure that it was the right size, dry fit the tool to make sure I didn't miss anything there. Now it's really up to you as far as how deep you want to go. The cool part about the foam is it has multiple layers. You can go to various depths based on these layers. Tearing the foam out is really not too tough. There were a couple of times where I went a little too far and it felt like the foam was pulling apart. But aside from that, the removal of the foam was pretty seamless. Once you have all of your foam cut, you can load up your trays and then load up your toolboxes. Once your toolboxes are loaded up and stacked, cart them wherever you need to. Whether it's in your driveway, your backyard, doesn't matter. This cart is easy to move around when it is loaded fully with tools. So now the question, for a regular DIYer like you and me, does the Tough System 2 make sense? If you're having challenges finding a secure place to store your tools in your home, this might be a good option for you. But the bigger question is, are you moving your tools around a lot in different areas of your yard or your home or maybe even to a friend's house? And if the answer to that is yes, I would argue that this is a very good option for a DIYer like yourself. The nice part is, DeWalt also makes a drawer system for the Tough System 2. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, click or tap on this video. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself.